What's up guys? I'm back again for the double upload. I uploaded Apex and now I'm playing Before Your Eyes. And if you guys watched my Apex, I'm sorry you guys had to watch that. I know it was terrible gameplay. I freaking sucked fat dong in it, but I'm gonna upload it anyways. And you know why? Because I don't care, you know? I don't care if it's not freaking the best, you know, aimbot freaking gameplay. It like I don't even care. I had fun playing it, that's all that matters. Anyways, we're playing before your eyes. Um, this game got a lot of attention when it came out. Um, I heard it got a lot of good reviews. A lot of gamers on YouTube played the game. Um, I actually started playing this, but then I, I had to stop because, you know, I was recording at the same time. I had to, like, fix my settings and stuff, so I just stopped uh, playing. But actually, I can't even play the whole blinking aspect of this game because you're supposed to blink to continue. I can't even play it that well because I have glasses on and because my glasses have glare, so... Unfortunately, we're just gonna play the game using left click, which is fine though, which is fine as well. But let's play a new game. Um, like I said, I already played maybe like the first like 20, 30 minutes of this game, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a little bit. It was interesting. Yeah, I'm not using the webcam, so. This is a game about blinking. Where's my sour skittles? Very delicious. Terrible for your teeth, though. This is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? I do. Once the metronome comes up, it jumps forward in time. And I really enjoy these kinds of games. I really enjoy story games because it kind of reminds me of reading a book, except for the like the part about reading. You know, you're just kind of playing. That's why I like it, especially if the story is very compelling. It's a great story. It's got some great themes. It just makes it much better. Get away, you lucky fowls! It's mine! Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? Thanks, man. I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or Aww. hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your mm -hmm. body is still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. So basically, we're dead. You remember? Ooh, well look at that. Basically, you're a blinking we're dead. genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. Thanks. Man. See all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves. Oh wow. I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. So we were one of these See, bubbles. I, Actually I didn't I notice that. Sometimes get a sort of a a hunch. Or what's a better word? Notion? No mm, better word than that. Ah. A premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. So we were a soul, one of these that blue souls. Right Sorry, I need to focus on the game. I'm on my big, phone. We were one of these wood. blue souls, and then he picked us up because he thought we were. Um, he had a good feeling about us. To so. be judged, I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stern. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the bitcoin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. And if she ain't. I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. Well. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. 
You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. What are you doing, good sir? Oh man, it's all on all fours. He went primal mode. Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, that was kind of weird, man. It's all good, though, you know. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. All right, I'm gonna so... send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now, don't be afraid, and don't right. try to fight it. So basically, this guy is like the, the thing to remember um, about Grim Blinken Reaper. Right? Is, I don't know if he's the Grim Reaper, but he's well, like the guy who decides, the guy who brings souls to the lady who's in this big ass tower. And I'm she determines whether or not um, you have a spot really in the city am, or whether you turn I'll to a seagull, which is pretty much just like, for the he's, he's like the gatekeeper for heaven and hell. Um, and it looks as if there we died, a dry and we are going to go back in time to, and they belong live, to this guy, relive our right entire here. life. So let's go ahead and do that. We blink. And just and before try to eyes, enjoy it this time. That is the title. All right, so we blink here. Look at that sun. And this is, I guess, since he said it was from the We've got a we long, beautiful from day ahead of us. Memory, it was probably from when we were a very uh, small child. Why are you smiling like that? You I must don't know. really like it out here, huh? Yeah, well, I get nice. that. I like it too. Mmm. Go get you some seashells. What do you say? I love seashells. You see that big spiky plant over there? Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. All right. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Sure did. Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. And this is our mom, by the way. Now where's the um, first page of my? The only piece? reason I know that is because I can't find it anywhere. I already played Did through I play it. Played the first thirty minutes. And our mom's looking for a page. We have a seagull. He just ran off with the page. Well, we can't even help her. And it looks like we can't do anything else here. So let's go ahead and jump forward in time. Hey, go ahead, kid. And actually, if you play this game for, with, with originally how it's supposed to be played with the blinking, it's actually kind of difficult sometimes. Because sometimes you have to like hold your eyes open, and like, because you wanna you wanna get through all the cutscenes, you wanna hear all the dialogue and stuff. <laughs> Look at that. That, is, that means, that means like when that metro yeah. comes up, you can't blink, so you literally have to hold your you eyes have open. You have to make and, him do this like, every like, birthday. Oh, <laughs> That's a great idea. It will really be something to see how he grows. So our name, our name is Benny, Man, by the way. The zoom on this thing is one fantastic. Years old. Richard is our dad. And we just saw our mom. We were at the beach with our mom. Oh, you want to play along with 
mommy, don't you? Hell no. It's like, all right, I'll do, I'll do it. Just I'm sure you'll you be better than me. Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. all the clouds we did it guys so do you think he's going to be smart do you think i'm going to be smart of course i'm going to be not. smart i mean we're both pretty smart <laughs> yeah but that doesn't mean he's going to be man what do you mean you guys are talking shit right in front of me man come on man i'm right here no it's not derivative at least i didn't think it was do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Hey, we drew a bow. Nice. Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my peace job. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. All right, let me just throw here. The first time, I didn't know what was happening. You know, if you keep uh, working at it, one day you'll be able and to paint exactly throw. So what's in your the, head. And it ends you'll up be throwing a real the, um, artist. What is this called? An easel? Or something like that? Poor mom. I threw the easel. See? That used to be my piano. All right. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Got a little family tradition of playing country music. Just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. That's the same way with me. My parents made me uh, play piano when I was a kid. I hated it. But as I grew older, I um, I found enjoyment in it. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Huh? Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Oh, okay. Okay, Benny. Are you ready Sorry to see something? Sorry if I'm freaking sucking on these Skittles like a damn fucking horse, dude. They're so good and they're so juicy, so. But I'm finished with them. And they're, I, they're the sour ones, so oh my god. So sour, but I'm finished with them, so I'm not going to be smacking on those things like fucking horse. Really so special. Cool. I just right, don't want to What is this? We're lifting open something. Richard. What? That's the cutest oh, thing I've ever cat. seen. Yeah, the missing what's eye. wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But oh, what? while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. Yeah, I love cats. I love cats to death, but I'm allergic to them. <laughs> Which is very unfortunate. Now play the sea Because I like cats. I, I like uh, the personality Remember? of cats over dogs. Dogs are a little bit too wild. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? I love like dogs, but don't, get, it, don't get twisted though. I, I, like, if I had to pick, I would choose C dog minor. over a cat. But you remember how to play actually, that honestly, one? that's a hard choice. I, I, that's actually a really hard choice. Excuse me. Very good. Just one note different. 
I would probably that actually pick a cat sad, over a dog just because cat is less maintenance, but a dog is definitely I, I, I'm, I like dogs more than cats, feel. but for owning, I would say cats are more easier to own. But um yeah, I'm allergic to them, which freaking sort of sucks. Like and I love cats, they're so cute there. and they're so nice, especially if you like treat them nicely and they, they trust you and stuff. They always like come up to you and like love to get pet and stuff. They don't like getting pet for too long though. Eventually they like eventually like run away and stuff because they're like. Hey, she was in grad me. school studying composition. But that's I a hard question. Dog or cat? Like that is actually I a very tough question. Pray to God I can like somehow you could keep only up. Only pick one. You had, it was a life or death situation. You had to either pick dog or cat. I think she liked that I was a professor. Which one would you pick, right? Give me a certain. Very difficult. Gravitas in her eyes, you know. So this is where. Which I. Very. The, this is how lost. the husband and the. The wife met. God, she dragged me to so many places. Egypt Airlines. It's wonderful. To Egypt. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Greece or Egypt? Hmm. If I could only pick one. I would 100% pick Greece because I heard that Greece is beautiful and it's got the beaches and it's got like this like the city uh, on the beach and stuff and like they have these like look if you, as you guys can see with the, as you guys can see in the picture they have like the white and blue buildings. I would pick Greece. Well, just remember we got an achievement for it too. <laughs> Phil Helen. Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes. I don't know what I? that means. Luckily, mom gave you some good ones. So. Let's hope they balance each other out. Yeah, let's hope they let's hope they do balance each other out. Cause I'm not trying to be fucked up because of you, Dad. <clears throat> so we got piano, and it looks like we are moving towards the other. We are moving away from the baby piano. And we're going towards the big boy piano. How old are we, by the way? We're just like floating. Oh yeah, it said that we're like we have no legs or anything. The fox guy in the beginning of the game. Is that... that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard? Some fucking genius, bitch. What? He's playing my piece! He must have figured it out by ear. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. We need to get him into serious piano sure. lessons. That sounds like a big red flag to me. And I love how cats are literally amused by the smallest things, like doing some shit like that. Oh yeah, and in this game, there's they give you options to draw things, which I think is pretty cool. So if you can look at this, you point at the character, and then once it does a little scribbly thing, you can point it to a piece For of paper a moment, and draw. I forgot what a great father you are. Careers. Don't the interview, honey. I got this. Oh, come on, Ernie. You got it, Ernie. Get the ball. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Wait, what? Hello? Oh, I guess I'm just, just supposed to go forward. Excuse me, of course. Oh, and Ernie gets bigger it's all now. Organized into folders, so it's we're aging. On kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. Oh, and our drawings are getting what better too. What possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow? Oh, he peed on the he peed what on the desk. I? What the hell, Ernie? Bad Ernie. What was my mom talking about? Oh, I completely forgot. I, I completely did not pay attention to what my mom was talking about. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, oh, Ernie doesn't not? want to play. You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. All right, so we're good here. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. Lost in the I sauce. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of 
genius, which might live on after you're gone. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. In order so to I fight the tides you. of time, I think that's what she said. What about your dream? Something that lasts forever. Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius, just as I was. And your children can also carry that he down said, for you as well. Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> no such luck for me. Oh, don't I, say that. What is this? I haven't this? seen him in over ten oh, years. Oh, it's her dad. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. All right, I think we're done here. I think we uh, found everything that we could look at. I'm supposed to press W? Oh no. So it looks like a phone's ringing. Uh, I don't think we can click anything. Maybe I let this play out just a little bit. I wonder what happens when you get too close. Oh, okay, well, everything turns black. All right, well, it looks like we're just gonna skip ahead time. And we got the metronome. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Um, okay. Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. And then you play. This is how you play the piano. You just move your mouse You're across off. the highlighted thing. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that. Man, it's kind of hard, man. This thing's moving fast. Man, she's pressuring me too much. That's why I can't get it. There you go, buddy. Freaking a Keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Get a firm grip on it. Get a firm grip oh on my. it. Oh my. Oh, the camera. I don't think you like that, pal. Where was Sorry, buddy. At? Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. I guess, yeah. All right, let's go take pictures in the backyard. Let's get, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, we gotta take a picture. Oh, we got more opportunity to take pictures. Let's do it. Let's Ernie, take of the buddy. Clouds. Ernie. Ernie. Ernie, we need you. God, El, what if you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Yeah, that's what they so all say. So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're oh, sure wait, about hold on. I need to be paying attention. So we have Ernie. Uh, uh -huh. we, we thought it was a boy, but it turns that out that me. Ernie is not Pregos. Still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't Ernie's know. Ernie's a girl. I didn't think but about she's it. She's got little it just, baby Keithing. It just happened. You just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop out five more. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you hated cats. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. That's a big red okay, flag that, for her. That's funny. That's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. But I really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. Yeah, all right, Mom. All right, Mom. Chill out a little. All right? He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. What's wrong with that, What's man? wrong with that? Yeah, exactly. No, are you kidding? I love it. Huh. Are you able to pick up the new book? Yes. The Manila Galleon is of particular interest. I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. That's the two. It's Benny and right? No, no. Can't put a price on learning. Alright, so they're getting us ready for like school or something like that. What is this? What's up with- there's like these weird eerie moments, like with the phone ringing, there's like that eerie moment, and then this, where we're in the kitchen just like walking. And I'm hearing like this noise. I'm gonna let this scene play out a little. And this is why playing on- playing without the eye motion capture, I think it's better because that like like I said earlier in the video, like for scenes like this, if you even get caught blinking, it's gonna just skip forward, and you know, I wouldn't be able to see this. 
So I want to see what happens when we approach the door. Maybe nothing is going to happen, but let's find out. I'm kind of scared. It's kind of scary for real. Something going to pop up? What is this? Where is this leading us to? I think it just stops us here. Alright, we're just gonna skip it. It's fine. I know. It seems impossible so that you like could ever play something so complex. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Mm -hmm. Kind of styling on this shit now. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Oh, we kind of lit. We kind of lit on this motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna freestyle, but nah, I'm not freestyling. I'm too fucking high for that shit. I just want to chill. We're playing a chill game. It's time to just chill. Okay. All right, let's take a picture said of that. Find zero, and Where'd he, he go? just drew he an just arrow pointing to it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Oh, we are failing math, so we're not good at math. Let's see what we wrote for our answers. Um, all right, you know what? I can't even do that anymore. I forgot how to do all that shit, but uh, let's keep let's keep moving forward. I want that box full by the time I come in there. All you right, it is it full. Anymore, just... Getting rid of it. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. All right, so we're getting older, taking photos, getting older. <clears throat> Looks like we won some prizes for some stuff. I think I think I see a piano. I think it's a piano prize. All right, we're in the backyard again. This isn't my house. It's not my house. Who the hell house. is that? Right, it's my house. We have five minutes to get down. I'll drive it back with you up there. Oh, it looks like there's a moving truck, and this girl's just moved here, and she's sad. Oh no, hell no, what are you doing? I know we're kids and all, but like, man. Hey you, yeah, you. Oh, she called me. Huh? Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. All right, all right, I'm pressing W, I'm pressing W. Oh wait, it's, autom it's just automatically moving for me. All right, well, I don't need to press W. I don't even need to press the Why are you always out here taking photos? Because it's my hobby, you know, bro. If you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Take a photo of what? You? All right, let me do it. Boom. Got him. Chloe. You happy now? Oh, shoot. I think I got to go. But um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. But you can try. What the hell? How did he do that? <laughs> what the hell? I'm freaking quick, man. They call me the freaking flash right, photographer, everyone. my guy. And he's about to play for us. Oh. Pog, Pog. Wow, L. He's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, El? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. No one really knows what it means. Mm. Unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops a dinner party short. Oh. Mm. Okay. More wine? What the fuck? Yo, that lady's a hungry. bitch, bro. I think he, the, the wife just called the, class, the husband out for history. his shitty job. My name is Mr. Isaac. What an asshole. The class will be broken up in hey, you. minutes. Huh? Oh, we got, we got uh, Chloe Look in the class. on your desk. I wrote you something. You wrote me something? What'd you write me, bitch? Dear weird neighbor kid, we are in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're at school, you, we don't know each other. Don't talk to me ever. Love, Chloe. 
All right, damn, bitch playing, playing hard to get. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines, not stare off into space. All right, so we have an option to draw a quote. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. Oh, Chloe's getting called out. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? I'm gonna whisper the answer to Chloe. I'm gonna help her out. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend. Boyfriend? Ooh. If we do not keep an accurate Mr. account Isaac, of the past, my wingman. we are destined to embarrass ourselves in all sorts of ways. My wingman. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspect he bought wow, it. Wow, so L really just roasted um, her husband guys, at, the, you, at the party. And now we're 11 years old, so that's that's a good oh, sign. Because we know what age we are. To think of that crap. Uh, what is this? Conksters. Consters? A new contestant has approached. At long last, your favorite Conksters are ready for battle for the playscape. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for the lost mother, the legendary Queen Kong, and trap gooey monsters with Dr. Ebb's potented seashells and coerce them into spectacular battles. And when all else fails, just use your conscience. Oh my god, someone freaking kill me now, that was so corny. But let's, let's move forward. I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. All right, so we're with Chloe. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? Yeah, That's a very I have no interesting friends, detail. Man. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. We have a, we have a paper in Maybe front of I'll us. Maybe I'll use... Yeah, let's draw. Tickle stick. And I like this, so it gives us the option to draw. So we have the first option right there, we have the second option on the bottom. One moving up, one upwards, and one downwards. We'll do the upwards one. Whoa, that's a pretty good drawing. Thanks. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. You know, I've Not been thinking about doing though. something like that, Chloe. I'll thanks for, uh, you to try to draw thanks for giving me that extra boost of confidence to really, uh, to really, um, you know, Break out of my shell and become a true artist. Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. What do you mean? What the I hell? I look so ugly. You just got me. You know, you look good. What are you saying? Uh, what am I supposed to do? All right, I think we're good here. It's called a magnet school. Magnet school? Oh, those are where the smart kids go. Magneto. Magneto school. In a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. Oh, really? Is and that what you want me to do? Your life can take you to some incredible places. Or you places. want to just control my life, you really, freaking crazy really psycho. Good at something. I think it's the it's latter. I've had so much trouble making friends with Playco. I want you at a place where people really get you. All right, uh, so we're, we might go to a magnet school. Oh, and so we're what do you think, to the dean. Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Hell yeah. Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But I was in the composition department. Ah, uh, and who did you study under? John McDonald. Hmm. I understand he's very difficult. Yes. Taciturn is the word I use. Taciturn. Yes. People have described Has me turn. that way, yes. if you can believe it. Mm. Oh, mm. I would never Rubs say that about chin you. hair. Thank mm. you. Yes. 
I wouldn't either. Oh, let's get past this freaking bozo. So we got some Bach. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. Hell and yeah, a lot of stuff I'm not talking properly yet. Regular so no classes pressure. the GT, the I AP, man. Just want you to try. And you can hell? see if you start enjoying it. Now what you mean, try? I'd just like to see you really rise to the occasion just this once. This shit got like I all these I black notes on I wish I had the option of going to like, school like fuck? that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Man, you need to humble yourself, mom. You're going crazy. Should I crumple it? No, I'm not going to crumple it. I want to make my mom proud, you know? My mom wants me to become this uh, piano uh, player. And I am pretty good at the piano, as you guys saw earlier. We were fucking killing on the piano at that dinner party, you know? We are fucking like, ah, ah, you know? So, you know, I want to try it out. Don't answer that, Ben. Don't answer that, You can that, talk to your friend after you practice. Oh, I wanted to answer the phone. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? Yeah, I'm gonna answer the phone. What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. All right, well, I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. Did I just I cause a fight with your parents? Awkward. I'm sorry, dude, but you should also cherish these moments. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it, but... Now I actually miss it a lot. Man, Chloe, you weird. Anyway, you weird, so girl. basically across the board, crustacean types perform well against me. Alright, yeah, whatever. You can you can go freaking suck my crustacean. Anubis, in the Anubis. presence of my aunt, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, right, so two options. determining this option, whether it was worthy of like entering into option. her land I like the second dish. one. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Why does it looks so un. Well, you can unfinished. see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet, and she's got, and yes, that's a she, the head of a crocodile. Mr. Kid. Of desk. What's up, Chloe? Look at it. My desk? Oh, wow. So I would not Dear that weird to neighbor face. kid. Now. Tonight, after my see, dad goes to sleep, we're going to sneak out of my house and go sleep on the beach. The if you want to get invited, draw me a picture judgment. of Mr. Isaac feeling sort constipated. Of like me with your weekly quiz. Love, weird neighbor kid. So I am not quite sure why I don't hear more frantic scribbling right now. All right, you want to see some scribbling, motherfucker? I'll draw you some damn scribbling. Yeah, you can get that scribbling, <laughs> biatch. Ew, why is he so scared looking? Okay, I'll call you when I'm in my house. What do you mean? You better pick up my call, dude. All right, Chloe. All right, we got a little date action going on. Why are we worried about having Days until kids? audition. You yeah, got this, B. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen. I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, but I... Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all, but I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. Damn. I just like that. The wife is really kind of power tripping a little, to be completely honest with you guys. Kind of power tripping a little. All right, so we're supposed to meet Chloe at the uh, beach tonight. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory but consolidates when you're we asleep. Also have, so if you go uh, to sleep now, you will tomorrow. awaken a master. Trust me. Um, I wanna. I'm gonna hang out with Chloe because that was the first choice I picked when I went from, when I did my first playthrough. I didn't uh, record it though, but I did choose to go um, visit Chloe at the beach. So. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, maybe I can, um, yeah, see we have two options. We have to try to sleep or sneak out. So I'm gonna sneak out. Um, wow. It says I got an achievement called Redo. 
I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Chloe better be Bay. Okay, so if she's not, I'm about to be so came. blown. She, if she, she better not be like no, not no psychopath okay. or nothing. Yeah, we have. We're you here. Know, we have Chloe. I'm really Chloe glad you're here. There's something Thanks, I've been Chloe. meaning to talk to you about. What do you want? Or to get off my chest. Okay. Yes. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin what? Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we All were right, playing it. Alright, so we're painting it. the stars right now. Like, my favorite vegetable is the tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. Yeah, Chloe, and stop talking, man. I'm freaking sick and tired of hearing you. probably the boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most. Alright, my bad. That's actually rude, Which Chloe. I'm was sorry. was also I something I wanted to talk to you about. So this is why, I like also why I feel lot. like Which is the, weird um, because playing without the blink mod, mode is good I never because you mod. get to do stuff like this. Because if I were to blink right now, my it would just skip me forward. So this has but been we a have this star this pattern to stay here. In a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. Alright, whatever. Probably all right. didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. Yeah, You're already I didn't, feeling Mom, sick, aren't you? Unfortunately, but you know, it's okay. You still got this. I chose to. I mean, let me, all the let me explain why I chose something. to um, hang out with Chloe that night because, you know, that opportunity is going to come by again later, right? Um, I'll be able to audition, you know, maybe next year or like the year after that. But chances that you have with a certain individual or somebody else. You might not have a second chance, right? But for something like school, for something like uh, an audition, there is always going to be a second chance for an audition. So it's not like the end of the world if you don't make it. But, you know, hanging out with Chloe that night, that was a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Because what if we reject... What if Or not reject her, excuse me. That's pretty rude. But what if we just didn't show up that night? She would have been pissed, and then maybe she would have been like, no, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. And it might have, you know, given her, you know, bad image of us after that. So that's why Maybe I chose to just try to and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on. I'm just going to skip this part because I don't want to hear In this your part own anymore. time, Basically, we, we Benjamin, lose. We, don't, we, we don't are get the very excited and to we don't hear. get the, um, we don't get to admission to the school. Excuse me. Because, because we stayed out with Chloe. I'm pretty sure that if we didn't stay out with Chloe, we would, um, make the school. So this game is about choices. It's kind of like a Life is Strange, a little... Okay, okay, I think that's enough. We're getting lightheaded, goddamn. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again? Once right, you've had a bit more time it. to I I practice? Yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may be take you okay all right all right i guess I, I really want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here i know it was quite the drive yeah it's all good you know you win some you lose some maybe i pushed you too hard maybe i turned into my own father i don't know you have to find something to focus on the world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. That is true. All right. We want him home from school for a while, just until this nasty thing clears. Oh, we're sick. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny. Okay. Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay. Alright, I guess. 
Alright, and we see an image of our chest. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but I guess that's our what's causing the sickness or where the it's sickness a is. In our time chest. In its development. It shouldn't be confined to a room. Yeah, look, having him home for low means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? All right, I was trying to wait to hear more of the dialogue, but they, um, they stopped talking. All right, so we're at the beach actually when we when we were kids, I think, when we were with our mom in the very beginning. I don't think we could look at anything else here, so let's just move forward. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Alright, alright, I'll try. I'll try to find something, I guess. I guess we just gonna just skip past it. What the hell? Oh, we got Mr. Boat and there's some music jamming out. I guess we move forward in time. Alright. Let me draw the boat guy. Can we do anything else here? I don't think so. Let's do that. Keep on drawing. Alright, it's getting progressively better. That's good. You hear me? Why isn't your son eating with us, Al? No. You mean young Vincent? <laughs> well, ever since he's. Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Oh, well, we got a award. Let's go, dude. I love awards. What is this? <coughs> Art school application. Uh, question three. In two short paragraphs, describe what makes you want to pursue a career in the arts. Uh, I'm too short. In two short paragraphs. Okay, he's just repeating the question. Alright, I guess. Alright, go past. You are not here to learn to be. Oh, we got Bob Ross up in this motherfucker. Oh, we can. Alright. Oh, yeah, learn this part is fun. We get to draw. Artists. So let's, let's draw. Although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, John. Make art. Man, you chill, ponies. bro. What the hell? You acting like some of the teachers in Asia, bro. The Asian teachers be fucking going off on the kids, bro. Chill out, bro. Head ass motherfucker. Trying to make some art, bro. Art takes time, bro. There we go. Look at this art. Look at that beautiful, beautiful piece right there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hell no. I'm not. I'm not seeing this right now. We're about to get fucking raped here or something. Oh, hell no. Alright, uh, we'll just go with... Uh, we have three options. We have that option. That option. What's that thing coming off his mouth? It's like a fucking black dong or something. We'll do it this option. Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. And then we'll definitely use the fruits to cover... Actually, we'll use the fruits to put over here. We'll use the skull to cover up his junk. So we got this. We got uh, this fruits, and we got this plant. It's very zany. Okay, very I'm gonna use the skull to cover up his dong because you already know. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. That sounded backhanded as fuck. That compliment sounded backhanded as hell. Fucking asshole. Are right, we doing this again? Oh wow, what is this? Okay, so um. I'm just gonna click, I don't even there know. There you go, Mr. Brin! Feel each shape! Alright, man, I'm trying, man. You're creeping me out a little, though. <laughs> oh, you fiend! You fiend! I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. Hey, we got the recognition though. Nice. You see? Yeah, 
Yeah, he has that shit. That down fire, bro. deep within himself and created a I masterpiece. I'll show you that shit for like 50 mil. Are you gonna show my other painting? I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Prince. Are you gonna show my other painting, bro? For I fear a talent like these, you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. Swept away by a whirlwind? I don't want that. Alright, let's just go skip past it. Alright, we got our painting. Um, I think, what is this? Our painting's on like a wall or something like that. Oh, wow, look at this, I'm guys. Stuck. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He's flipped the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. Alright, uh, can we do anything else here? I don't think so. We're good here. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird. Oh wow, weird this is really cool. I like this. The opposite of what being uh, I want to try that one, hold on. Let me try, yeah, life. I like that one. But if I can teach you cool. one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't cool. selling out. With the I wish noodles. I had thought of it that way. But this guy, that looks pretty cool. Holy, stunning. Right? I've never I been think it was all right. One little thing. A birdie told me that Ilba Preston Hoover gave you her card. Now, I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Damn, what the hell is this guy talking about? He's not in the business of the arts. Ilba Preston Hoover is in the business of business. And you, child, you are no Artist. Live like one. Okay, so it looks like Ella Blabbenhaus or whatever her name is. You're not selling like your soul. Not really the best option. Wait, she just said I'm not selling my soul. Oh wow, uh, sign contract or crumble contract? Um, you know what? I'm gonna crumple the but contract. Look at that. You've crumpled my contract. I did indeed, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. Throw? What's talent? No, I don't want to throw it at her. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Listen, I'm not I a disrespectful you the best guy. Of luck, okay? I did something disrespectful. I mean, that was the only option I had was to crumple it, so. But I don't want to go down an even more disrespectful path. So, being a difficult artist, the best of us are. Alright, thanks, man. Let's drink. So we didn't Divine. take the deal. So we just, um, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? Um, May I suggest somewhere abroad? This American air can be stifling. Right, yeah, maybe, maybe somewhere abroad, maybe. Huh. But um, yeah, let's, we we didn't take the contract though, so let's let's see what happens here. Where are we? It looks like we're in Greece, I think. Oh, and this is what I picked for the painting in the beginning of the game when we were a baby. It was either uh, Egypt or Greece. And it looks like we're in Greece. Honey, honey stop. Is that a... Is so we got two options. Oh my god. Uh, I, I like, I like this. Let's try that. Uh, let's put it right here. No! I messed it up. Oh my god. Whatever, who cares? Right, it looks like there's only two options for this, so I guess we'll just do that. I don't know. It looks alright. Alright, so we're old enough to drive now. I bet you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> oh, wow, nice. Really? Collectors, curators, how we all love a rising star, and how bored we become once it's settled. Keep rising, Benjamin. Alright, I guess I will. I'm gonna try my best. I'm definitely gonna try my best. Hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? 
I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick for a while, but really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're at such an important moment in your career, and I'm just so proud Wait, of you. Wait, I missed you. something. This is nothing but a little bump in the road for me. I'm going to be fine. Okay? So don't even worry about calling me back. You know. I think I missed an option for something. Okay, Oops. Benny. I love you. Oh, well, it's all good. But that's enough from me. Now you'll oh hear from God. the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? You ready to come up here? I guess so, Dad. Go on, B. Say something. Okay, I'm gonna say something. Well, that is a big ass metronome. What's what wrong? Hell? Why aren't you talking? There's a big ass metronome here. What the fuck you mean? Why am I not talking? Uh, do I have to skip this? I want to talk. What if I want to talk? <clears throat> Alright, looks like we have to skip. We'll skip though. Hey you. As you know, I talk to big, very important people every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? This yeah, is getting bro. ridiculous. Chill, bro. You acting crazy all the time. You always fucking flip flip flopping on me, switching up on me. You are a snake. Damn. A why are you coming at me like that? But worst of all, Benjamin, you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Green is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! They have moved uh, on! I'm done hearing this fucking ass wipe talk to me. He needs to hey, shut up and stop calling me. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm still in the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Alright, so our dad's selling the house because he wants to just take whatever you want. Get away from With your mother the idea gone. Of his I'm hoping to finally so live sad. without all the clutter. I will keep this. Yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, we'll just keep everything. She didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. Yeah, I feel like the that mom was the only thing that mattered to her. I feel like the mom, all she did, What's all, that? All, all parents at the end it's of the day so fascinating, care so. about, you know, their kids just doing well, you know, or at least for the most part. Are we doing more painting? Or what are we doing? So we got some options. Ooh, I like that. All right, and we could do the one where she's with her dad. I like the one with her dad. That's nice. We got a piano. Oh, we got some. I think, I don't know if that was, uh, that was a good placement, but fuck it, I don't even care. Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. Thanks, Pops. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. Yeah. I feel her. Yeah, Papa. Sad, sad to see that she's gone. Oh wow, we got our painting on the wall. Oh, 
that's nice. The Passing Day, inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens, relatively that, unknown in her life, really Bryn lifted you, his mother's work Chloe. out of obscurity with Your the creation neighbor. of this piece. She is now considered to be one of the greatest composers of her time. My god, I can't believe this! It's been years! I, I just walked through the entire it's show. Chloe. It's unbelievable. What? I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. Sure, I'm down for that, Chloe. What's up, baby? I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. Always searching. I like this I should have guessed it. Always I mean, searching. with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait, even when I begged you not to? Yeah, my bad, God, Chloe. God, you were such a little jerk back then. Hey, I was a jerk. You were a weirdo back then, bitch. Don't be and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I that's always rude. heard her not playing the B piano word, not from the B next word. door. Sorry, Chloe, I didn't, I didn't mean to call you the B word, the but you were music. you acting a little crazy back then. Not she was lie, a Chloe. genius. Like mother, like <laughs> son, I guess. And we got all our paintings here in this thing. Hey, like so pains. not to be forward, but uh, what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd be down. I'd be down, Chloe. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Oh, what is this? Now would you look at that? Oh, it's the fairy man. <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. Oh wow, it's he's dancing. You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody, nothing's dying every day. You finally sink your hook into a. Whoa! Well, there you are. This is pretty much where I left off. I left off a little bit before. Hello, sir. But this is if I realized I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter oh and we so we were in our in our the life we were uh, an internationally renowned up. painter we were really uh, hey speaking of that uh, really uh, why don't we give your story painter. a test run maybe you help me out the word choice since you know i'm still working on that see if i'm getting all the strokes right the proper composition if you catch my drift <laughs> yeah i see what you did there because i'm a composer about right it. all right here we go Gatekeeper, before you oh, stand the, the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? All right. Um, was I a happy? Let me let me let me think about my life. I don't really want to think a, about uh, a jovial child. Um, or a solitary Benny's life as a kid, but I mean, if I were to say, if hey, I were to give bad. Benny a choice, I would say Benny was a happy kid, right? He he seemed pretty happy, and it, for me, I would say that was the same thing for me. When I was a kid, I was definitely a very happy kid. Kind of childhood was older, a happy but, one, growing up a in a loving definitely. home raised happy. by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And uh, what did you say your mom was? A composer. Your, or an accountant. She was a accountant, but she uh, she was a composer as well. So His mother a was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Yeah, that's the right good job. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of um, like your champion. Or, or more like a taskmaster. She was pretty demanding. I'll go with the truth here. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out. Let's tell the truth. Hoping she wasn't that he really might one day achieve that greatness that she never and could. He, what he's saying is spot on. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? The neighbor, the, the, the neighbor, neighbor girl, neighbor girl? Best friend. Mommy, mommy, sorry, mommy. Your first sorry, love. Mommy. Now be honest here. That is a uh, hard question. Don't be bashful, question. man, you can tell me. Was Chloe my first love? 
I mean, honestly, in this... In this, for the from the time that I've had with Chloe, it wasn't really like a first love situation. It was more of just like a good friend, you know? Um, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, being friends with a girl, you know? Um, that's how all great, re like, relationship starts that involve, you know, um, non-platonic uh, relationship, you know? I would say they all start with being best friends or close friends, you know? So I'll go with best friend. I wouldn't say first love. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Completely dropped Staying the ball. up Come all on, night with his best friend and blowing it the next nah, day. Nah, that's a lie. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? Yeah. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum goals, you mucky fellows. This guy is wild, bro. The fairy man is wild. Alright! I get it! I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Alright, so did I make it into heaven or did I make it into hell? Which one which one is it? I had assumed as much anyway. What do you mean you assumed as much? I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. It's pretty harsh. I get to feel them bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Oh, they just left. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Alright, so we're entering in the building where we talked to the lady. I forgot her name and she's gonna tell us whether we go to uh, heaven or not. Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. going on what's going on now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you what? you're ashamed of something this guy something is... so what? terrible you're trying to blink right past it this guy going crazy bro because if the gatekeeper knew she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you and I'm sure you're right I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black Muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. Man, what are you talking about, man? This man is freaking crazy. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. 
And this time, I want the truth. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, okay. The cutscene's over. We have this an option to move This ain't a schoolyard staring contest, buddy. <clears throat> so, this Best guy just called us out saying that uh, we, were mid we were hiding something. Uh, so, let's go back in time and see what we were hiding. Beady little eyes of yours before we run out of time. Alright, let's just go back in time. Alright, so now this we're back at the scene in the very beginning when we are at the beach mm -hmm. with our mom. Not this. Not this? Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel so happy? Bad that we did. Like you just want to jump up and down? Now. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him. What about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. I get all this. We need to move. Okay, so this isn't it. We need to move forward. This is where this is weird. Stay here. What did yeah, your right? hear on that phone call? Yeah, there was a bunch of weird dark scenes that happened. This was the first one. What, are we, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What is it? There's a new thing at the bottom. I don't know what it does. I don't know what I'm doing. What? What's going on? Keep your eyes open. I need to see. Oh, okay, we just need to not blink, but we I turned off the blinking thing, so it doesn't really matter. I guess we just have to wait. Let's see what happens when the hourglass goes, okay. I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course, this is Elle, his daughter. See, she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. Oh my god, that's why she was kind of freaking out. We really need to stay in time with the metronome, so okay? that's why she was... You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. One knee okay, two, damn, bro. Eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Okay, okay, let's keep going. This was the other scene. What the hell is that? What the hell is this dark red light at the end? This is kind of creepy. It looks like it's blood dripping down. <clears throat> Looks like there's blood dripping down. So normally you would have to be looking at the screen with your eyes wide open. You can't blink. And then maybe this would be the perfect time for a jump scare, right? The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't bro, enough. Bro, what the fuck, bro? So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Alright, let's just skip. Stay here. After Wait, why is the why mom, messed up? I never like hanging out with anyone. I know you want to stay here, man, but we don't have the time. So this has been a big. I wonder what happens because it says to stay here. So. In a lot of ways. What if we uh, 
don't do anything. I think I like that you let me talk. But maybe the game will do something? My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Alright, fuck it, let's just go. Who cares? I'm not Play worried about big, who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. We need to move. All right, let's, let's move there. All right, we're going, I'm going. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? This is Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Okay, okay this go. isn't it. I'm going for me. Oh, here's another one. We can focus in the trees. Staying engaged. So normally, out, you would have to just be looking at the screen. You can't blink. So you have to go like, leave your eyes wide open for however, that, however long that hourglass goes for. And you can't blink. But I'm not playing that way, so fuck it. I mean, I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's I mean, what's the point? What's going on? Hello? What's the point? What do you mean? Oh. What's the point? What does that mean? Alright, so What's the point of close my it? eyes. If he's never gonna get eyes. any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. Okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. Sick for a long time, weren't you? I, mean, I think I was sick for a year. Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. Okay, I'm gonna try we're to remember. We're almost at the end of this. Right, we're almost at the I end promise. of it. Okay, all right, Mr. Ferryman. I trust you, Ferryman. You better not fuck me over. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Can I do anything? It right, looks like we have to skip. Oh wow! What is Try this? Try writing with it. Hi, mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Oh, nice. So artsy. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Yeah. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. LOL. XD. What do I write about? Why don't you write the story of your life so far? Oh, all right, And I then guess. what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Yeah, that's not, that's not a bad story idea. Story of who you're going to become, okay? All right. The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. His childhood was a happy one. Okay, so we, this is the uh, our answers that we gave the ferryman earlier. Said so that our childhood childhood was a happy one. Uh, growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents, in a quaint villa village by the sea. 
His mother was a composer who, with the need to support. Yeah, I don't want to keep doing this. We're going to skip this shit. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Yeah, a little. Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. <laughs> best friend? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But Aww. I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night. That's what I was that saying earlier. Sense. But we could okay. have gotten another opportunity uh, with Chloe. Story. Maybe. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and uh, shape. Ah, we don't need to hear the rest of the story. Where are we? Oh, at the You are going doctor. to be in there for about 30 minutes. So try We're to get a cat scan right now. Oh gosh. Or an MRI or whatever these things are called. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer. Okay? All right, I'm gonna let this play out a little. I want to know what happens. This is kind of new. This looks like nothing's happening. Let's just keep moving forward. Knock, knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Yeah, you could read it, Mom. Am I allowed to have the option for her to read it? She's just gonna wait there? You can come here and read it. Mm. All right, whatever. I can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just not, not right now. Why can't she tell me Don't she worry. likes my work? Why is she so pressed go about that? I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. I mean, I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. Love you, Dad. All right, I guess uh, we can go forward. We got typewriter again. What is this? Yeah. I'm sick and tired of this freaking typewriter. Benjamin Brin was a loser. What? What's going on now? He was the worst Brin to ever live. Try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. What? What's going on? I thought we were. I thought we became a professional artist, international artist, and we survived and we made millions. And we saw Chloe later when she was older. What happened to all of that? Is that fake? What is this? Is this the disease? 
this. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press so that red button. Do the, in order to do this, we have to close our press eyes. That red button, and the drug, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my I'm wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, so, you know, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this, this sort of thing. Provide, thank you, you know, cause for I'm understanding. Like, I can really leave my eyes open, but I want to know what... It's been a rough like, one. I want to play it like how the game's supposed to play, be played, you know? Okay, so I guess that was it. Alright, so it looks like we survived. Oh, but now this thing is coming back stronger than ever. Let's close our eyes again, see what they have to say. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. What's wrong? Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. What? Yes. I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. What is this guy saying? Okay. Oh, it's Chloe. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Bitch, I'm dying. Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are fake. Dang, I'm Chloe. What the hell's wrong with you, bitch? Tripping. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that. I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Wait, is that... That's my bass. How did you figure out how to play that? I don't know, bitch. Can I open my eyes now? Oh, I can. Alright. What's going on, Mama? Keep playing, B. She's listening. Oh, I like this song. This song is so nice. It's so sad. Like, I'm literally hooked up to, like, a freaking uh, life monitor, like, IV and shit. I'm playing some music for my mom. Let's skip though, I'm skipping. Oh god, this thing's getting worse. I need to eat, I need to drink my pills, do that, do this. Oh, what the, is the cat? It's, 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 um... It's Ernie. I thought Ernie died. What happened? What are you doing, Al? She's gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, so Ernie did survive, but her kittens died. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. Aww. Oh my god. Bro, chill, bro. Chill, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying. You mean she 
hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. I okay, I'm calling now. Chloe. Honey. Man, what the hell? Why is it still here? Oh my on? god, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. What? What are you talking about? I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. Yeah, bitch, I'm sick, I bitch. What are you telling that. me to fucking, like, go fuck myself for, but... man? Hell, fuck you, bitch. Hey! What are you looking at? I'm looking at the stars, motherfucker. Fuck you. You are being Don't look shit up to me. there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. All right, what is it? So, maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. All right, Chloe, whatever you say. I trust you. Close your you. eyes now, okay? All right, let's close my eyes. All right, I think I can open them, right? Because she gave it to me? Oh, it's a note. Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my best friend. Aw. Love, Chloe. Aw, that's sweet. Thanks, Chloe. I think you're one of my close friends, too. Oh, shit. This thing's getting, getting stronger and stronger. What is that? Like I said, it's something before, I don't new have to I'm close working on. I'm just doing it just so, so you know, really you're writing the again. Experience yeah, it's just game. a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. 
Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. Oh no, what do you mean? I should go get ready. Get ready? What are you getting ready for? What are we getting ready for? Don't worry. We got this. I think. means if you blink then everything moves that's cool oh wow what is it what the fuck what is this who are you oh it's the cat it's um ernie there she is wish me luck so she takes the shape of a random thing so it's, pro Gatekeeper. it's probably gatekeeper before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. So we did end up dying. That means. Holy shit, so we did end up dying. So Benny ended up dying, I think when he was, it was past the age of 11, right? So maybe like when he was 12? She's ready to hear your story. My metronome is broken. You oh, know, I Ernie. never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. The story's about me, motherfucker. You couldn't tell? My only issue was... Well, I didn't like him very much. Oh, you so, didn't like him very much. I wanted to read you something I wrote for you. Which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. Wow, so we died when we were 11. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home. To an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were. Oh, so hold on. I'm getting like, this game is a little trippy. So in the beginning, we um we became an artist, right? And then our mom died. But that story is com was com was completely made up. Um this is the real story that's that about Benny's life. He didn't become an artist. He ended up becoming bedridden and red bedridden by the age of 11 and then ended up passing away. So instead of our mom dying an hour warped view of how we thought our life was, it was actually us who died and we we're just making up you know, the whole entire beginning of the game, we just, it was just all made up from the mind of our character, because, I mean, I don't know, it, it was just freaking crazy, like, freaking, we did, we weren't able to live our life, and that's the life that we, you know, made up, and, and we figured out, I mean, as the story progressed, that literally none of that shit happened, and we actually fucking got After home. they had almost we forgotten. completely destroyed and wrecked by some So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay because he'd already lived a great life. A full life. A full life, 11 years? I, mean, I know I know you are supposed to be optimistic when, you, when you're in this type of situation, but man, I did not live a full life. I lived 11 years, that is some bullshit. She accepts 
close your eyes now and keep them closed. Oh wow, so we got accepted into the <laughs> Magnificent, into her kingdom. Let's close Why our eyes now. Why like that? It must be somewhere that he likes. Okay, can I open my eyes? Oh wow, that was it. Alright, well, that was before your eyes. Um, um well, I want to be my father, Robert Hell Hellworth. The man who told me how to play. Me was a dedication to this game was um created for someone's dad uh, someone's dad this guy's dad the hellworth guy uh, i wish i could skip this but um i don't think we can so let's just go let's just uh can i go back to the main menu okay so all right we got we we uh i just skipped past the credits but um so yeah, that was Before Your Eyes. Um, surprisingly, a little bit short. My only problem that I had with this game was... Right when they were trying to get you to, you know, feel something, it just felt like those moments were cut a little short. Like when we were... Uh, when we saw Ernie's kittens dying. It just feel... It, that, that moment, which was supposed to feel like sort of like a big moment, it just seemed a lot smaller and it seemed very rushed, you know? But this doesn't take- that doesn't take away from the fact that this still was a pretty- it was a pretty good game. I would give it a solid... I would give it a 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I wouldn't give it that 9 because it didn't really... The story was relatable. I do agree with that. It was definitely relatable. Um, and it was definitely, um... It was definitely a very moving story, but like I said earlier, those scenes where I felt like I should have been, you know, emotionally, you know, swayed or moved, I felt like those scenes, like it was, it was like, it just felt like a tease, you know, it was like I was getting so close to feeling something, but then I kind of got it taken away because of how the pacing works in the game. The, the pacing is, is the pacing of the game is just linear. It's it, it's a line. This game is a line. Like there's no like ups and downs and maybe slow slopes or like fast slopes or whatever. But um, I guess that was my only problem with the game. I feel like if they really took their time on those scenes where you know they're like the heart wrenching scenes, like the uh, they're pulling on your heartstrings type scenes, the emotional scenes. I feel like this game would have really you know, blown the socks off of people's, you know, feet, right? The characters were great, they were very relatable, the mom was kind of overbearing, um, and I kind of feel that way with my parents too. I feel like when I was a kid, my parents were overbearing. Um, the twist at the end was great when we found, when we found out that we actually died when we were 11 years old. Um, that was a really good twist. Um, but yeah, overall I enjoyed the game. A little bit short for me, and also just not enough oomph, you know? Not enough meat within the within the contents of the story. Um, it was definitely very meaty, don't get me wrong, 8.5 out of 10 meaty, but it wasn't that 9 or that 9.5 meaty. I wanted a little bit more. Also, I feel like another big problem, sorry, I'm kind of going off on a rant here, my bad, rant time, but this will be the last thing I have to say. A big problem that I have with these kinds of games where the main character doesn't say a single word is that, you know, you're playing with, I mean, games that where the main characters don't say a single word are hard to execute, right? Because... You know, I did relate to Benny, right? I did relate to Benny. I, I damn well, I damn sure did relate to him, but I could have related to him even more if he had like a voice or if he had like emotions, you know, um, attached to him. But, you know, it was just silence. You didn't hear Benny say a single word. And that kind of makes me feel a little distant from our MC, our main character, our main protagonist. Uh, I thought this game was still very good. Um, shout out to the creators of this game. You guys did a good job. 
Uh, I want to see another kind of game like this from the same studio, but more fleshed out and more... Um, and please have our MC say a word, say just one line, please. Um, but <laughs> yeah, that's it. Alright, um, that was Before Your Eyes. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys like the video. Uh, I'll see you guys maybe on Tuesday, because I'm working tomorrow. But this whole week, actually, I have off. So starting from Tuesday to Saturday, I have off. So I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's it. Bye-bye, guys.